in this session let us see why induction motor like you know many guys say that induction motor is self starting synchronous motor is not self starting but that is not sufficient actually okay we have to combine like you know in our previous session also some session i told you like you know induction machine induction motor will have speed control induction motor will have braking induction motor will have starters induction motor will have harmonics has to be analyzed okay and induction motor have self starting all these because of only one reason and all these five will not be there in synchronous because of only one reason one reason let me tell you that reason now of course about harmonics i'm not going to take but i will tell you the conclusions maybe once we enter into harmonics of induction we will discuss may not be in uh, present session of gate 2020 detailed session we will see but how to solve problems i will tell you for sure okay for example this is a and this is b and this is c means connected to three phase source now let us think of rotor in my rotor conductors will be there many conductors are there okay now for example means phase if you if i give a b c phase sequence a b c r m will be in this direction rotating magnetic field if i supply what is a c b phase sequence a c b so it will rotate in this direction okay for example i have given a b c phase sequence only so this is going to be n pole of the stator s pole of the stator which is being rotated in this direction with omega s okay now because of this rotation voltages are getting induced here or not yes we have seen in the last session because of that because of that some currents are flowing or not yes because of those currents some torque is getting produced or not if rotor resistance is non zero okay so if rotor resistance is non zero definitely torque will be produced if rotor resistance is existing torque will be produced okay from the simple this point let us explore let us explore okay for example rotor is at standstill rotor is at standstill then rotor cannot rotate then rotor is going to get some torque some torque such that if rmf is rotating in this in this direction my torque also is produced in the same direction we have seen in our previous session okay so for example if i strongly hold at the rotor not to rotate not to rotate now because of this torque my uh, what do you say hand will have twisting moment in this direction okay so one thing let me tell you this is rotating with synchronous speed for example for a 6 pole 50 h machine okay 6 pole 50 h in the sense 120 f by p is going to be 120 into 50 divided by number of poles are 6 which will give you 1000 rpm okay so means uh, focus there all of you please see if stator mm is rotating with 1000 rpm okay rotor is not rotating because i strongly hold it the rotor not to rotate so then torque will be produced or not yes okay what does it mean it means let us discuss the same in a different way independent of relative velocity between stator mmf and rotor torques will be produced okay for example at standstill also at standstill what is the speed of this uh, stator 0 rpm what is the speed of this rmf 1000 rpm what is the relative velocity 1000 rpm so even if you have 1000 rpm also relative velocity in the rotor torques are getting produced yes okay for example let us think of our synchronous motor for example this is the synchronous motor this is n pole this is s pole this is n pole forget about s pole this is n pole okay now synchronous motor is at standstill condition okay so synchronous motor is yet to start okay means i'm going to tell you why synchronous motor cannot have starting torque and then i will explain i will explore other things okay so synchronous motor is like you know is uh, yet to start here now to the stator abc phases will be there like the same stator of synchronous machine and stator of induction machine will be same so if stator is connected with infinite source infinite source then automatically stator mmf will be rotated or not yes so this is not rotating synchronous motor this is n pole okay so for example this is s pole s pole okay so this is not rotating the moment you close the switch of three phase power to the stator my stator mmf will be rotating around it 
my stator mm will be rotating around it so yeah, what is the speed of this stator mm 1000 rpm for 6 pole 50 hedge machine sorry 6 pole 50 hedge machine 1000 rpm so it is rotating with 1000 it is standstill so it is rotating with 1000 rpm 1000 rpm okay so for example this is going to be s pole okay this is n pole now whenever like you know it is coming to here s pole is coming to, it is rotating it is rotating so whenever at the at one instant it will come to here then this n pole will get attracted towards this but it is associated with mechanical time constant moment of inertia huge okay so but it is rotating with 1000 rpm now for example when s pole come to here n this is n pole no n pole of the rotor it will try to go like this but by the moment it start initiation it will go here okay so this is s pole means this is n pole in this it will be s pole so means s pole is here it will try to go like this and s pole is here it will try to go like this again s pole is here it will go back because s and s repulsion will happen again s pole comes here n pole will be attracted so focus here all of you see for example this is the n pole of the rotor n pole of the rotor s pole of the rotor which is fixed okay this is synchronous motor okay now let us think of stator now stator is producing rmf or not yes at what speed for example 1000 rpm now for example at one instant s yes, pole came to here of the stator it will get attracted like this okay after that like you know s yes, pole will come like this it is yet to start the initiation because of moment of inertia when s pole come to here it is rotating with 1000 rpm it is standstill when s pole come to here the moment s pole is here it will try to have an initiation like this but by the time s pole will come here s pole will come here then torque will be in this direction after some time s pole will come here s pole of the stator it will have repulsion so torque will be in this direction by the time s pole come here s pole s pole repulsion torque will be in this direction okay so this is associated with moment of inertia mechanical mechanical but what is this pole this poles created because of electrical time constant because the moment you supply voltage automatically it will be produced at synchronous speed okay so the moment you supply to abc three phase supply automatically these poles are rotating or not yes if it is s pole n pole will be there here s pole n pole will be there here so this is s pole it will rotate very fast and this will not be able to cope up okay now because of that starting torque will not be there in synchronous motor is not sufficient because means synchronous motor it will not have starting torque self start it is not a self starting motor in my diploma i read that i understood that but in engineering and beyond engineering gate and beyond gate like you know interviews how to analyze the things okay so let us conclude this in a different way if this rpm this speed is 1000 rpm if this speed is zero zero what is the relative velocity 1000 rpm when relative velocity is 1000 rpm means at a mean portion it will keep on vibrate it will keep on vibrate but it will not be able to initiate and rotate itself at the speed of synchronous speed okay so what is the conclusion here in synchronous motor torques will not be produced Torques, it is not starting torque. Torques will not be produced when relative velocity between stator MMF and rotor is high. Now, if you come to induction motor, in induction motor, strongly holded the rotor, what is the relative velocity between stator MMF and rotor is uh, high because it is essential, it is rotating at very high speed. So, I am going to have twisting moment or not? Yes. Okay. Maybe in our next sessions, I will tell you. Okay. Here, uh, maybe the point two of uh, torque continuous torque production that is stator mmf and rotor mmf should be stationary with respect to each other displaced by non-zero space displacement angle is going to be valid here even when relative velocity is high but is not going to be valid here okay when relative velocity is high i will conclude that point later but let us analyze now okay so my synchronous motor when stator mmf is rotating at one speed rotor is not rotating relative velocity is high when relative velocity between stator mmf and rotor is high torques will not be produced torques will not be produced okay now let us think of speed control okay speed control here speed control here okay for example means all of us know that uh, induction motor rot rotated less than synchronous speed in my next session i'm going to do that anyway for timing if it is rotating at thousand 
and if it is rotating with 950 for example 950 for example means almost 1000 rpm almost 1000 rpm it is rotating now for example i want to increase the speed of this particular rotor okay if i want to increase the speed of this rotor for example if i increase the frequency from 50 h to 100 h 100 h then my speed of rmf of stator will be increased to 2000 rpm okay see for example this is rotating at 950 or roughly 1000 for example it is rotating 1000 it is rotating slightly less than 1000 now suddenly like you know you change the input frequency input frequency double if you double the frequency then it means at starting this is rotating with 1000 before changing the frequency this is rotating with 1000 this is rotating with almost 1000 okay now suddenly this rotation started at 2000 2000 as of now it is rotating with 1000 around 1000 only less than 1000 only so what is the relative velocity here for example at starting it was rotating with 1000 it is rotating with 950 now all of a sudden it got uh, it is rotating at 2000 what then what is the relative velocity it is rotating with 950 in this direction it is rotating with 2000 so relative velocity is going to be 1050 but then also torques will be produced or not yes because independent of relative velocity between uh, rotor and stator mmf torques will be produced in induction motor because of that my rotor speed will be automatically increased to 2000 okay come back to here okay it means when it is stand still when it is stand still and it is rotating with 1000 rpm how much is the torque produced zero right so mean torque will be there torque will not be produced for example somehow i rotated this and it is rotating at 1000 rpm 1000 rpm now it is rotating this is the resultant pole resultant so this is rotating with 1000 and this is my field pole field pole also is rotating with 1000 both are rotating with 1000 is it motor or generator we cannot say for example motor okay field pole should lag behind resultant before actually continuing my uh, induction uh, sessions you please revise once my synchronous sessions okay compulsorily now for example this is s pole okay and this is n pole both are rotating at synchronous speed if you connect one brake drum to stop the rotor it will go now both are rotating in this direction both are rotating in this direction now this is s pole this is n pole attraction will be there or not yes attraction will be there so torque will be produced torque will be produced in this direction and it is rotating in the same direction okay now for example you thought of increasing the speed of the synchronous motor to 2000 okay so at starting like you know somehow it is rotating with this is rotating with 1000 this is rotating with 1000 now you thought of increasing the free uh, sorry speed of this rotor to 2000 so you increase the frequency of stator mmf to 1000 so then what will happen in the transient it is rotating with 1000 only and stator mmf started rotating with 2000 rpm okay so stator mmf started rotating with 2000 but rotor is starting at 1000 only what is the relative velocity 1000 rpm when relative velocity is 1000 or more between stator mmf and rotor torques will not be produced so my speed will not be increased to 2000 okay for example if i want to stop this if i want to stop this for example directly if i supply zero frequency dc dynamic braking we say for example zero frequency if i supply means my stator mmf will become zero rpm in the sense it will become stationary it will become stationary like this if i supply dc to the stator then for example before like you know at starting it was rotating with 1000 rpm because you supplied frequency of 50h it is rotating with 1000 rpm it is rotating at 950 then suddenly you supplied dc component to this then suddenly field uh, sorry stator poles became static but it is rotating with 950 okay so what is the relative velocity it is static and it is rotating with 950 so 950 is the relative velocity so independent of relative velocity torques will be produced so this particular rotor will be braked to zero rpm okay <sighs> this is called as dynamic braking for example come to here this is rotating with 1000 this is also rotating with 1000 1000 both are rotating in this direction under steady state now for example to the stator stator you removed ac and you supplied dc in the sense this will become stationary now this is rotating with 1000 okay so before supplying dc both are rotating with 1000 so this is s pole this is n pole torque will be in this direction it is keep on rotating okay for example you supplied dc it will become n pole but this is rotating with 1000 this is rotating with 1000 
okay so what is the relative velocity this is stationary this is rotating 1000 means by relative velocity is going to be 1000 so torque will not be produced so braking will not be there braking will not be there okay for example let us think of harmonics let us think of harmonics okay individual harmonic component we will discuss uh, in detail in detail course but anyway individual harmonic component will rotate at different different speeds okay for example in induction motor fundamental n1 s1 rotating with for example 1000 rpm okay fifth harmonic component n5 s5 n5 s5 means can rotate depending upon space and time we will discuss later can rotate at 5000 rpm or can rotate at 1000 by 5 rpm 1000 by 5 rpm okay so means it is time it is space something like that we say but anyway forget about all okay in stator in stator fundamental poles are rotating with 1000 rotor is rotating in 950 950 torques will be produced in rotor or not with respect to fundamental yes for example it is not fundamental now it is fifth harmonic components fifth harmonic component is rotating with 5000 for example this is the rotor this is rotor this is stator mmf stator mmf is rotating with 1000 rotor torque will be produced for 1000 for example stator mmf fundamental is rotating with 1000 fifth harmonic component is rotating with 5000 for example, if fifth harmonic component is rotating with 5000, what is the relative velocity? It is rotating, fundamental rotating with 1000. Rotor is rotating with 950. Forget about fundamental, fifth harmonic is rotating in opposite direction with 5000. It is rotating with 950. What is the relative velocity? 5000 plus 950 is going to be 5950. So, means if it is rotating with 5000 and it is rotating with uh, 950, 5950, 5950 is going to be relative velocity. So, with respect to fifth harmonic component, torque will be produced in the rotor or not? Yes. So, in induction motor, harmonic torque has to be analyzed. Time harmonic will be there, space harmonic will be there because harmonic torque will be there because there means independent of relative velocity between rotor and stator MMF, torque will be produced. For example, coming to here. This is rotor field pole and this is stator MMF. Stator MMF means both are rotating with 1000. For example, this is motor 1000. Okay, so torque is there. Torque is there. This is, uh, yeah, what do you say? Yes, pole. This is N pole. Torque is there in between these two. So both are rotating like this. Okay, for example, this is fundamental. This is fundamental. Now, fifth harmonic is rotating in opposite direction with 5000 rpm. Okay, so fifth harmonic component is rotating in opposite direction with 5000. Rotor is rotating in this direction with 1000. So, what is the relative velocity? 6000 rpm. So, the one, uh, what do you say, harmonic component is rotating in this direction with 5000. Rotor is rotating in this direction with 1000. So, what is the relative velocity? 6000 rpm. Now, when relative velocity is more, will you get the Torque produced here, no. So, in synchronous machine, we don't discuss about the harmonics in torque. <coughs> because harmonic torques will not be produced in induction. Okay, so let us combine all this. <coughs> Basically, induction motor is a self starting motor. Okay, induction motor speed control will be there. Induction motor braking will be there. Induction motor harmonic torques will be there. Induction motor starters will be there because starting torque is there. Okay, now if you think of synchronous, synchronous, you don't have starting torque, you don't have starters, you don't have speed control, you don't have like, you know, harmonic torque, you don't have braking. Why? Only one reason, that is, independent of relative velocity, torque will be produced in induction, but relative velocity should be damn low, or at least relative velocity should be zero, then continuous electromagnetic torque will be produced in synchronous. Okay, in the next session, we'll discuss about other things.